us about the race. You look fantastic. Um, first hundred didn't feel that well. Um, but you know I've ran the 200 many of times, so I didn't panic. I just kind of trusted my fitness. And then just the last hundred, I just felt like I just got a gust of like just a gust of wind. I just every step I felt like I was gaining momentum, so I just stuck with it, stuck with it. And I told myself, don't lean, don't lean, just run through the tape. But when I got to the tape, I said, that, I mean, lean, because I just, you know, I just didn't know. But it felt good. First one since the Olympic trial. So I, I completed my goal. I ran faster than when I finished that. My last race was 2015. I ran faster than that. So um, I'll take that. I mean, almost two years not running 200. Feeling good. So I feel great. Um, you know, just, just rust, rust and kinks. I probably could have ran faster, but, you know, I haven't ran so long. You just got to get the rhythm back. And that's really kind of what this whole year has been, is getting rhythm back in races. What's it going to take to crack that top three at USA, especially because they're medalists? Just, I would just say just comp just com being competitive. I'm just putting you – everybody in the United States has talent. Everybody has good coaches. Everybody has everything. It's just who wants it more, right? Because everybody, you know, it's, it's like basketball, baseball, football. Every sport, there's always a top uh, upper echelon. And in track and field, that's what we are. So you just go out there and compete. And, you know, and just I, – I was fifth at Olympic trials, and I didn't compete the way I should have competed. So taking that, you know, taking that – I guess just nugget, same thing with Noah. He then won the Golden Olympics. And he came back and last year and made sure he won gold. So I just think just that mindset, just going in and competing is what I gotta do. Terrence there's back. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Well, it was partly back, partly back. You were you were kind of hyping up on, you know, asking people what are you gonna run today on, um, you know, on IG. Did you get like a lot of motivation from people? No, I just wanted just to interact with people. Um, just a, just a little thing. Just I feel that fans are. You know, they come with the sport, any sport. So instead of ignoring them, or keeping them in the dark, just, you know, encourage them, you know, because they're taking their time and effort, same way I'm doing for my favorite teams. I'm taking my time and effort to watch and support these people. So just, just paying it back forward and just kind of just see them, kind of getting a little, uh, I guess a little test to see where we take things at and kind of going forward with that. But I was, uh, I was encouraged by some of the times they thought I could run, you know. I just, you know, it's just good to feel that people have your back. Even if you don't really know them personally, it just it's a good thing. Got fans, great fans at that. There you go, good, good man, good out, get out there.